Hello, internet. Welcome to get. <coughs> uh, oh, <clears throat> sorry. I just realized I wasn't that cool. But anyway, guys, what's up? It's Ryan Bodash, and welcome to my first Let's Play in a while. Actually, if you want to know why I'm called Ryan Bodash right now, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or search for the video on our channel called What Happened and why I'm not called my other name anymore. Yeah, it's kind of depressing, but if you want to be kept up in the news, then go ahead and watch that video before this one. However, if you're just here to watch me play this game, it doesn't matter. I am somewhat back into the Let's Play scene. I've left for a pretty long time, mainly because of what I discussed in the What Happened video, but also because I've been working, my internet sucks, and that's really why you haven't really seen much of me around because really it takes me a long time to upload videos and everything so I've kind of lost motivation but I do want to get back into the let's play scene because I had missed recording I've missed interacting with you guys and I kind of want to get back into the scene a whole lot more so anyway I am going to be let's playing Gabe in the final decision now there's a little bit of a story as to why I'm let's playing this game originally Zane the Demon King uh, bought this game for me saying hey you should let's play this game because I'm a very big fan of Valve I'm a very big fan of Steam and I'm a very big fan of Gabe Newell which this game is apparently based around and so this is apparently a RPG maker game and we're gonna see how it plays and see how it works now if you're not familiar with PC gaming which you should be, and if you're not, the this game in, uh, is a uh, this game story is based around games you've probably played, and they're they're available on other consoles. So I hopefully don't have to explain too much, but basically, Gaben is Gabe Newell, founder of Valve, creator of the game client Steam, and this is basically a game around the story in the future of him trying to release the third games of many of this series so anyway Zane the Demon King bought me this game originally and he wanted me to let's play it and what's actually funny is that he bought me this game however I do have seven keys to give away for this game uh, actually you can't see that whoops there we go. I do have seven keys to give away for this game, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get, how I'm how I'm gonna give these keys away yet. But you know, if you're interested in this game, you want a free game, comment down below saying you want a code, and I don't know if I decide to give them away that way, then maybe I'll give them away to the seven people that comment saying they want it. Maybe I'll put it in a drawing or something. I don't really know how I'm going to yet, but if you like this game, if you want to try it out, then uh, comment down below and I might give you a key because I have seven keys just laying around. And this is actually my key file. This is how I keep track of what games that I have keys of. So, I don't know. I mean, if you see a game that you might want to play uh, besides like uh, Gianna Sisters and Freedom Planet, um, send me a message and I might send you a key of one of these because I have way too many and I kind of want to get rid of them but anyway enough rambling I do want to uh, explain the game a little bit and get started because that's what this let's play is all about because I've been talking for about four minutes now um, so anyway Gaben the final decision is apparently an RPG maker game and I'm going to explain the game a little bit before we get started uh, the summary is, join Gabe, Gabe Newell in his adventure to save his company and find out why his longtime friend and co-worker Robin Walker sabotaged Valve's three most wanted games. And those games are Team Fortress 3, Half-Life 3, and Portal 3. So, I'm just going to read this about, about this game and then we'll just go ahead and play it. It's finally time, in the year 2096, Gabe Newell has finally decided to release his triple Steam summer sale. This sale includes three new Valve-made games people have been waiting for years. For four years. <laughs> Half-Life 3, Portal 3, and Team Fortress 3. When Game Newell, also known as Gaben, 
goes to eat lunch, he mysteriously finds his computer sabotaged and orders a meeting to take place where all Valve employees must come and investigate, investigate the situation. As he's about to leave, his longtime co-worker and friend Mike Johnson reveals he saw Robin, Robin Walker into, sneak into Gaben's office and sabotage the games. Although Robin denies it, Mike shows proof of it happening, and Robin finally admits to it. Play as Gabe Newell in his adventure to reveal why his games were destroyed, and reveal the shocking story where Gaben will have to make his final decision before it's too late. So, we're gonna see how this works. Apparently, it's full of memes, RPG, it's casual, it's an RPG maker, RPG, and Illuminati, I guess. We'll see how that works. So, anyway, we're gonna jump right into it here. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, I love this music track. I want to figure out who wrote this and if I can rip it or get it somehow because I love this track. I am a very big sucker for tracks like this, like simple techno, simple dance, simple um, house, whatever you want to call it. So I'm kind of a sucker for this kind of game, or this kind of music. But uh, anyway, this is the opening screen, by the way. And it's got this rocking tune. I, I, lo I love this tune. So, anyway. So the game has main men or new game, continue, settings, and exit. So, settings are pretty standard. We got master volume, music, sound effects, and we got three resolutions. I've decided to go with 4x3 mainly because this just kind of stretches it. And I'm pretty sure it was made in 4x3 in the first place. So I'm just keeping it at 4x3. So, anyway, we're going to start the main adventure of Gaben, The Final Decision. Apparently, there's also a subtitle, Don't Trust Anyone. So, let's go ahead and get into it. I, I love this track. I love this track. So, anyway, this is going to be my first time playing this, my first time looking at it, besides the main menu, obviously. So, let's go ahead and get into it and see what it's like. Year 2096, Gaben has decided to release the Triple Steam Summer Sale, which will be releasing the games Half-Life 3, Team Fortress 3, and Portal 3. However, there is something terribly wrong, and Gaben must find his make must make his final decision before everything is too late. Finally, I'm finished! Half-Life 3 is a success, so is Team Fortress 3 and Portal 3. These will be the Triple Game Steam Summer Sale Special. Phew, I better go to eat lunch. I'm hungry. Would you like a tutorial on how to play a game in the final destination? Or er, final decision. Yes. To move around, press the up, down, left, and right keys. Standard. You can also press shift to run around. Would you like a tutorial on how to fight? Yes. There are two types of skills. One with your character's name, which is an which is his exclusive moves, and one called special moves, which is both Gavin, which both Gavin and Mike have. Okay. When you get in a battle, if it's a boss, you will not be able to escape. However, if it's a regular enemy, you could press escape and then hit the escape button. Okay, so pretty standard. Um, can I look at things like a regular RPG? Uh, I guess not. All right. So we can run if we want to. All right. Om nom 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 nom. Well, that was good. Now time to release the Triple Summer Special. Okay, so first I want to go around this room a little bit. That is a very big table. Oh my gosh. I wonder if this is based on the actual Valve headquarters or not. Probably not, but I don't know. It could be. Actually, it's probably not because there's probably a whole lot more vending machines and a whole lot more. Because I know their snack bar is massive. So it's it's crazy. Basically, the dream is to work at Valve head Headquarters, pretty much. 
Ah, what happened to my computers? Why isn't it working? This is my only save of Half-Life 3. I knew I couldn't trust any of the employees. Listen up everyone, it has come to my attention that someone has sabotaged Half-Life 3, Portal 3, and Team Fortress 3. We must find this person at once. The reward will be tw <laughs> 20,000 Steam funds. That's actually pretty good. $20,000 in Steam? Like, can you imagine that during a Steam summer sale? Yeah! Good, you are all dismissed. Wait! It was Robin Walker. I saw him slip into your room. Is this true, Robin? No, it's not true. Both of you, come up to the stage. Who destroyed this triple steam, this triple summer steam sale special? I think they're kind of switching those words for some reason. Boss, it wasn't me, I promise. Here, I recorded it, recorded the footage on my phone. Robin! Fine, you caught me. Why would you do this, Robin? After everything we've done together, you were even one of the main developers of Team Fortress 2. It's because of the threes! You don't understand, Gaben. You're getting old. The threes. What if everything crashes, Gaben? Why would it, Robin? It'll be the best release in the world. The fans will go crazy. But you don't understand. The Illuminati. Look, the triple threes. The Illuminati might destroy the whole company. The Illuminati will seek and destroy Valve. With the release of these games, Illuminati confirmed will be everywhere. Then they'll think we expose them and we'll be done. That's preposterous, Robin. The Illuminati isn't even real. I've seen things, Gaben. The Illuminati is right under this company. I've said too much, and you've all seen too much. Prepare for your grave, Gabe Newell. Why, <laughs> why are you a spy from Deep Fortress 2? That's really weird, Robin. Hey, I'm kind of <laughs> on a low budget, okay? I kind of spent all my time trying to sabotage your computer, so, yeah. Oh, okay. Why didn't you say so? Wait, where are we again? Oh, yeah. Prepare yourself, Gavin. Oh, snap. Okay, so we got attack, special, Gavin, guard, and items. Let's see. Do we have any items? We do not. Uh, we can guard... What is Gavin? Case opening. Use this to make people spend money on opening those crates and cases. 15% chance of confusion. We've got guard, which I guess I used guard. Um, special, which we don't have any specials yet, and attack. So I'm going to leave this item for now until I really know what's going on. Okay, so we're going to attack him. Okay. Okay. So he died just like that. Okay. Well, I mean, it is the first battle, so, you know. Gaben was victorious. 1,000 XP received. 500 G found. Okay, so this is the basic RPG where you got experience and then you got G, which I guess is Final Fantasy's Gil. Or maybe that's Gaben dollars. I don't know. Mini M bottle found. Gaben is now level 8. Mini gun learned, CC inject re learned, and mana restore learned. Not actually sure what CC is. But I guess we'll figure it out. Well, that was weird. Oh, I got an achievement called Robin Defeated. That was weird. Um, I'm not really sure what to do now since Robin's dead. Um, attention employees, this is an emergency. You all heard Robin say the Illuminati is under this company. Mike, come with me. We have things to discuss. Oh, yeah, and now the 20,000 steam funds goes whoever finds the Illuminati. <laughs> all right, boss. Good, now you are all dismissed. Mike, I need your help. You're the only person in this company that I can trust. After all, you were the co-owner of this company. Well, what should I do? I can help you. I can help you, Gabe, but you have to make the decisions and the plans because I'm very confused about what's going on. All right, Mike, first we have to figure out where the Illuminati is hiding and how to eliminate them. This all sounds so weird. Anyway, Mike, 
why exactly is Illuminati after us? Like, so what if the internet nerds say Illuminati confirmed? Who cares? Mr. Newell, I mean, Gabe, we've been working together since the beginning. We've created a huge company from nothing. We're basically the smartest, but this, it doesn't seem right. As if it's some sort of gimmick or trick. We're one of the smartest people on the earth, but this problem seems unsolvable. In all honesty, Gabe, I never even believed the Illuminati was real, and right now I'm a bit skeptical about the realism of the Illuminati. But then why would Robin sabotage my computer and risk his own death to do it? He must have been possessed, forced in some way to do it. <sighs> he was a good man. That's true. It's better to try before it's too late. What about the triple steam- uh, or- <laughs> They keep changing it! What about the triple summer sale special? Well, if it gets- what if it gets destroyed again? We better go find out whoever's behind this, even if it isn't the so-called Illuminati. Alright, Gabe, I'm gonna help you. I trust that you'll make the right decision. Mike has agreed to join you on your quest to find whoever is responsible for destroying the triple summer sale special. I have some supplies in the crate next to the giant TV. We should go get them. Would you like a tutorial on how to use items? Yes. Travel to the chest next to the TV in the top right corner of the room and click on it. Press space to open the chest and equip your new items. In order to equip your items, press the escape key and travel to equipment. From there, use your arrow keys to pick a character and click enter to look into that character's inventory and loadouts. Click whatever inventory slot you want to change and then hit space to change it. That was a lot for... Okay. Space to open the chest. Equip your new items. In order to equip your items, press the escape key and travel to equipment. From there, use your arrow keys to pick the player and... You can also look at your inventory anytime you want by scrolling the inventory using your four arrow keys. So this area, through this area, you will also be able to check your character's skills, which are its special abilities, its stats, and also save and exit the game. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. Okay. So, all right. <laughs> you can play TF2 later. Alright, so this is how we can look around. I probably wish I could have done this in the beginning, because I didn't know what button it was to explore. Uh, just a bunch of programming books. I don't think we can look at the TV, no. Can we look at the table? No. What about this TV? Nope. Okay. We found a scatter gun. We found a Southie Shinobi. I'm pretty sure most of this is going to be like Half-Life 2 references, which I have not played Half-Life 2 yet. I've almost beaten Half-Life 1, uh, but I haven't actually done too much. Okay, so this is apparently the menu here. Um, let's see, what are our skills here? We got CC Inject. Heal up some HP with his quick and cheap crossbow injection. Mana Restore, okay. Alright. So, what is special? Special is Minigun, Spray and Pray. Use this to make those people spend money. Yeah, okay, we already looked at that one. And then we also have... We don't have any magic yet. Okay. So, let's look at uh, Mike here. He's got a scatter gun, and that's pretty much it right now. So... Let's see, what was CC inject again? Heal some HP with a quick- okay. And then mana restore. Use this move to heal all of your mana. Just- okay. Alright. Skills, equipment. Okay. Do we have a- alright. What are our equipment? Okay, so we've got a minigun and a Half-Life 3 suit. Um, Mike doesn't have anything right now. Um... Let's see, what is the difference between the scatter gun and the minigun? Just slightly better agility. So we'll go ahead and with, go with the minigun. And optimize. I don't really know what that did. I guess it changes to like the strongest thing we have. Okay. So obviously we want Gaben to have the strongest stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and go to equipment, Mike, and change his equipment to what Gaben had. We don't have secondary, um, so let's go ahead and give him the Half-Life suit. 
and that's all we have for right now. Uh, pretty sure optimize would just... Okay. Status. Whoops. So, our status is... Okay. So, we basically... Okay. So, Gaben's the owner of Valve Corporation, and Mike is the ex-co-owner of Valve. He came from Google to go to work with Gaben again. Interesting. Okay. So, tactic. What is tactic? I guess we don't have any tactics right now. Oh, okay. This is like the order. I guess we attack. Okay. And then save and end. So, let's go ahead and save again. And does end just... Okay, two menu, shut down. Okay, I actually do want to test something now that I've saved the game. I do want to see if widescreen will make those that that cut off text more visible yeah it, it doesn't look that great but we're gonna continue and see if that made the text look a little better because it did cut off um scout's very own scatter gun from the new team fortress 3 okay what actually did cut off there were descriptions that did cut off Oh, we also have this mini M bottle. Heal a fifth of your HP from a little bottle. Okay. Main weapons. Other key items. Okay. Um. Okay, that didn't really help the text. Um. Alright, that didn't really help too much. So I'm just going to go back to the menu and make, make it 4x3 again. Because it didn't... It just kind of stretches it, and I don't really think it looks that great. Anyway, alright. Back to 4 by 3 Oh, no, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Alright, we're gonna... Technical difficulties. Alright, I'm just gonna quit the game. And start it again. And we'll get the rock in, uh... Okay. Continue. File 1. Okay. And we're back. Okay, so... We've got our items, we've got our equipment, let's head out and see what we got. Let's get some information from the employees. Some of them have probably gotten a little bit of information on the Illuminati. Good plan, Mike, let's go. Okay. Hey boss, just reading this book. That, okay. Anything else in this room? You're just reading a book? Okay, there's nothing interesting in this room anymore. Or at all, actually. I don't think there's going to be much interest in most of these rooms, actually. So it's probably not really worth checking all of them. Working on some software business. Yeah, they, they really know their stuff. Well, I mean, at least they've been working, so that's something. Alright, let's see if this guy knows anything. I, I'm just going to follow the trend of there's not going to be much to look at. Still researching. Well, I mean, they're faithful to their work. I guess I'll give them that. Um, but we, we're not getting any information here. We should go and gather information before we leave. Okay, so that's the exit. I must say, this music's pretty good. Um, but seeing as it's an RPG maker, I kind of wonder if that's where it came from. I do like the music, though very serene. We're going to software business. Okay. Do these guys know anything? Oh, here we go. I've done a little research on the Illuminati. It says here that they want to achieve a satanic new world order. Ugh. That's very strange and interesting. What is the new world order? It says the new world order is a one world government for Satan. What? People are so strange these days. Yes. Hmm, you do have a good point. Good job and keep up the good work. I could have fired him if I wanted to? Weird. Might have to go back and see what happens if you fire him. Okay, I'm guessing this guy doesn't know anything. Oh! The Illuminati has many relations with the number three. Maybe we can find them through triples or threes. Does this idea make sense? 
Yes. Hmm, you do have a good point. Keep up the good work. Can I talk to him again? Still work? Oh, okay. I wish I kind of said no and, like, figured out what he meant, but maybe that'll become apparent later. So far, we've learned about the New World Order, the Threes, and something about the Illuminati being under us. What, Gabe? The basement! Mike, remember when you left Valve to go and enjoy life with your family? Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Well, after Valve got much bigger and stuff like that, we moved our big conference room to a much bigger room on the second floor. Oh, you mean the old conference room in your basement is just gone? Yep, most people in the company don't even know that basement exists. Only people like Robin know. Well, what are, we, what are you waiting for? Let's go to the basement. The basement should be hidden well enough. The Switch will play a little tune, and we're in. Then we're in. Hmm. If our secret room was just a, bu was a bunch of flowers on the floor, I wonder how no one tried to look inside them. If I remember correctly, we were supposed to look in the flowers and click the hidden switch in one of them. Nothing. So this is gonna be just a bunch of searching. Nothing in this plant. 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 <laughs> Watch it be the one closest to the door. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. I thought it was going to be the one closest to the door. Okay, it's really dark in here. Yeah, I wonder why we had our conference room in here. <laughs> Oh snap! Dang, it's creepy in here. You look, you no look familiar. Heavy is gonna kill you. Also, I can't do accents, by the way. Boys, we could talk about this. I created you. Wait a minute. How are you alive? You're a character. Heavy thinks babies, babies scared. Cry, baby, cry. Um, Mike, you got anything? Er, uh, no. Also, my Russian accent's terrible, just deal with it. Okay, um... We don't have any specials here. Oh, actually we do. Uh, how much mana do we have? We have just enough to do that, and mana restore. Um, and then Gaben is just... Alright, let's do... Um... I thought I had the scatter gun. I guess I don't. Oh shoot, actually I do want to go back. Uh, let's do the minigun on uh, that one. And then Mike can do the scatter shot, which I'm pretty sure maybe it didn't save me making those changes. So I can't use the scatter shot for some reason. Um, we don't have any specials, so I guess he'll just um, I guess I'll just attack this one. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I changed these items, but I guess we'll, uh, we'll attack again. I don't know why Mike can't use the scatter shot. But, maybe that requires TP, whatever that is. Gaven's party was victorious. 312 XP found, and money, okay. Gaven is now level 11. Mike is now level 8. Syringe gun learned, CC eject learned, and mana restorer. Okay, so he's like a medic. Ooh, that was exhausting. Yeah, let's hurry up and get to that meeting room. Okay, so I want to actually change... Um, I don't think it actually saved my changes. Wait a minute, it did, but that's weird. Okay, that's a little weird. Alright, let's change his equipment. And that didn't do anything. Wait a minute. Change minigun. Oh, wait, what? 
I thought we got new stuff, didn't we? Hold on. Inventory. Main weapons. Okay, nothing for some reason. We don't have any of these. Skills. Is it a skill? Okay, so those are specials. So I guess... Okay, alright. So those are just skills. Rather than... Okay, that, that makes a little bit more sense. I guess. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and save, and we'll move on just a little bit, but I do wanna end this part very soon. So I'm just gonna move on just a little bit. See if we can get to a stopping point. Welcome, Gabe Newell. We were expecting your arrival. Who are you? Show yourself. <laughs> Wallace Breen, the administrator, GLaDOS? Precisely, you, I have revealed this little secret to you. As you probably won't ever see us again. Reveal yourself then. Well, this will remain a secret for now at least. How are you guys even here? I mean, you're all video game characters. And on top of that, how did you even know Wallace was going to survive Half-Life 2? Because we are the Illuminati, we know everything. Guards, take those two outside this building. Let them see the beginning of the end of Valve Corporation. <laughs> Prepare for destruction, babies. No! Why? Don't move or heavy will kill you. No! Why? My whole company gone down the drain! Gabe, I... It's okay, Mike. Now I have a real reason to destroy the Illuminati. Before it was just a silly joke matter. Now it's real. Breaking news, everybody. This just in. Valve Corporation has been burned to a crisp by mysterious attackers. Nobody knows what happened to the employees, but co-owners Gabe Newell and Mike Harrison have gone missing. Some speculate death, but others say they're hiding. The question remains, however, what will happen to Valve? Will Half-Life 3 ever come out? Well, we knew you had this secret house. Well, who knew you, you had this secret house? Does the public know it exists? No, I specifically bought it and made sure all the records of its purchase were erased. Plus, we're in the city right now, and this house looks like a wreck from the outside. Well, anyway, how are we supposed to- what are we supposed to do now? Hmm, I'm not sure. Well, if we go back to the Ill what if we go back to the Illuminati room? Will that work? Would that work? No, remember what happened last time? Ugh, that. Well, maybe we could tell the police? Nah, they- like they would believe anything. Hmm, what if we got evidence of them and sent them to the police? Maybe we should send them down there. How? They'll st they'll think we're insane and laugh at us. Okay, we're extremely famous. We could do anything and it would create publicity. We'll tell them to investigate and we'll make it seem like a publicity stunt or something. Who cares? Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Let's go. I stole some supplies before we left. Here. You got a soldier's rocket launcher, you got a shotgun, and the escape plan. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and change equipment here. Which one's gonna be better? It's gonna drop my agility a little bit, but I'll take it. Um, did I get any other armor? I did not. Um, was that from Mike or me? Oh, whoops. Um, give Mike the uh, flamethrower. And I want the, uh, I want the rocket launcher. Yeah. Alright. Um, inventory, escape plan. Um, wait, is the escape plan secondary? If it is, I want that too. Okay, no it's not. Is it melee? Hmm. Hold on, wait a minute. Can he equip it? Okay, for some reason I can't equip it. Let me see, inventory, main weapons. Um, I guess this is just to keep track of what, what we have. That, maybe that's an item, or is it a skill? Okay, it's not a skill. 
and Mike doesn't have it. Um, and what is it? It's gotta be equipment, right? Okay, that's weird. I don't know what the escape plan does. I thought maybe it was a skill. But it's not. Maybe it's an item of some sort. But it's called Other. So, I'm just gonna leave it for now. But, uh... Is there anything around here that's... I don't know if you heard that. You probably didn't. But that was my, uh, text tone if you did. Alright. Alright. So anyway, uh, since it's already been over 30 minutes, I'm going to close this part out for now. Welcome to my first Let's Play in a while. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything I need to tweak about it, let me know because this is my first Let's Play in a while. I did want to keep it a little simple and I've actually been wanting to play this game for a while. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed part one of Let's Play Gabe in the Final Decision. And I will see you guys later. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to like and follow our Facebook and Twitter pages. Don't forget to follow my personal Twitter. And don't forget to check out uh, other stuff in the description. So, anyway guys, I've been Rymodash, And I will see you guys later. Brohoof, and see you guys.